In 2022, we made a new mission and vision that gave us focus. I'm very glad that was noticed by the External Audit Committee, DMV, who gave us compliments about this. Embedding data science in the DNA of the UMCG is our ambition. Because we believe that data-driven healthcare is very important for the future of health. We achieved a lot this year. In this video, our DASH experts will explain some of their highlights from this year. But we did it as a team, all 15 professionals of DASH. Over the past years, the developments in artificial intelligence have been massive. We've seen a lot of development in AI going on and also at the UMCG in the Data Science Center in Health, we've done a lot in the field of AI. For the second time, we've run our summer school in data science and AI, which was very successful. We also had a milestone with our FutureLearn online course, where we passed the mark of 2,000 people attending the course, which is quite an achievement. Besides the online activities, we've also seen physical activities past year. One of the examples is our series board game, AI Hospital, that we played with more than 200 people already. Another example was during Span and Zernike, where we had about 150 kids that we showed how AI works and how they can teach an AI model to recognize hearts and skulls. Within the UMCG also, our machine learning lab community continued to grow. We've seen a lot of PhDs and postdocs joining us to learn from each other about the field of AI and data science in healthcare. Another thing that we've been working on is our IT lab, where we will provide hardware and software that is needed to do data science and AI in the UMCG to those researchers to get the data science to a higher level. In 2023, we are committed as DASH to further develop and extend our offerings in the support of researchers and also in the development of our educational offerings. Although the developments in AI and data science are extremely fast, we feel that as the Data Science Center in Health, together with everybody in the UMCG that's involved in this topic, we will be able to not only keep up with these developments, but also be front runners in data science and artificial intelligence in healthcare. Groningen is an international leader in cohort research, a leading cohort in the Northern Netherlands and one of the largest in the world is Lifelines. A great milestone of 22 was that we were able to complete the CT scanning of 12,000 Lifelines participants in the Imaging in Lifelines study or IMALIFE. And this year, we will analyze all the CT scan data using automated software based on artificial intelligence. For me personally, the 16th of December was a very special day. This was the day I was installed as professor at the University of Groningen. In my inaugural lecture, I explained the radiologist's role as guide in the healthcare landscape. The topics of DASH, in particular data science and artificial intelligence, have an increasingly important role in radiology, which I expect will only strengthen in the coming years. It is all about our patients, but clinical applications of AI are still scarce. Many tools for risk stratifications are published in our scientific domain and even marketed as products by numerous startups. However, not many tools reach doctor nor patients in the outpatient clinics or our hospital wards in daily practice to date. The major challenge is to properly integrate these machine learning driven models into our clinical workflow and to tackle all IT related hurdles that come with it. DASH is helping researchers and doctors to achieve their dream, their goal of such risk stratification. Identify the right patient for their best individual treatment. So we can truly 
practice personalized medicine, personalized healthcare, and offer data-driven shared decision-making. 2023 is the year our team, Lerend Zorgsysteem, Learning Health System, will launch a machine learning driven prediction model that was developed by a UMCG MD-PhD candidate at Harvard in Boston and validated on Groningen UMCG patients uh, into practice, integrated into EPIC, our electronic medical record system. This paves the way for UMCG researchers, as well as for startups, to facilitate prospective, proper prospective validation of these AI tools and to evaluate clinical efficacy. What do our patients and doctors really think about AI-driven shared decision-making? Because in the end, it's all about our patients.